Hello and welcome back to the Magic Kathy Show and Gemini season. I swear, I had a kind of a, I want to say a block towards recording an episode because I didn't really know what to talk about. I've been through lots of things, but I didn't really know how to put them into words. And I was just recording the video update for Anka. You will maybe see that on Instagram. And all of a sudden, obviously, my voice came back online and I'm like, I need to record a podcast about all of this too. And in this episode today, I want to fill you in the, into the importance or importance of the upcoming week or whenever you listen to this. And then also give you a glimpse of what I feel will be really present during Gemini season. And yeah also fill you in basically on, on what I've been processing and downloading and researching. I, I, I've been in, in this projector rabbit hole. For all of you projectors out there, you might know that sometimes it just takes you and you go on a journey of researching a specific topic and you don't even know why you are in this intense rabbit hole. And I've been in a rabbit hole now and it's all about, I mean, it's always about DNA, DNA structure, cellular regeneration, and all of these things, and how we can improve the health of our bodies. And yeah, always connected to water and to now also oils. And yeah, I've been researching a lot and experimenting a lot. If you know me for a while, you know I'm my biggest unicorn and not unicorn. I mean, I'm also my biggest unicorn. I'm my biggest, biggest guinea pig. I always experiment and try things myself and only then I share it. So I always speak from experience. I mean, North Northern Sagittarius and obviously also my rising Sagittarius. So everything and Venus in the ninth house, Jupiter in the ninth house, everything I'm saying to you or, you know, providing you with, it's from my own experience. I literally live it. I mean, I'm also a sixth sign, so I'm a role model in that sense, which means that I am embodying what I'm saying. I'm not just like saying something because I've read it somewhere. I've really like tried it out and tested it. And so there are a few things that I'm really excited about sharing with you that I've been guinea picking myself with. And obviously Mercury is in, in Taurus, so I guess I have to speak about it. But it's really about the power and the magic of essential oils, first of all. And just scents in, in general, I've always worked with color and sound for upgrading the cellular structure and really felt and saw, I mean, I see it, I'm very visual. See also how it changes the aura in the cell when we use specific sound frequencies and we use specific, um, yeah, colors as well, even. You know, I mean, the best example is when you look at just the green of a plant, how it instantly soothes, it, soothes you. And because it reminds you also of the heart chakra, so it brings you into the heart instantly and also grounds you. And yeah, I've been for myself working a lot of with, or like trying to improve my grounding, especially here being in Dubai, it's just really the hustle and bustle. And I mean, the energy of stuff right now are also really ungrounding. So I'm like, what else can I do to, to ground? I mean, it, it's taking a shower that helps me ground. So using water to cleanse as well. But the magic of essential oils has been really, really blowing my mind lately. I've always worked with them, but also I'm very picky about them. I have to say because of my travels and stuff like that, I never really had you know this one set of essential oils necessarily that I believe in or this one brand. And I've been all around the world. And nothing really, you know, sometimes they are diluted or they're with like just not a good quality. Even last year when I was in Egypt, we bought some oils there and I thought, oh, that's, that might be really amazing. But honestly, they were fucking shit. And they just feel not good on the skin and just not the aroma is not there. You know, it, it's just not it. You know, you just can sense quality. Obviously, Mercury and Taurus, we have to talk about the quality. And so there's one specific essential oil brand that I work with night right now and I every time I touch an oil from them I'm just fucking mind blown how good the quality is and one oil that has always been really really good for me has been vertebra 
I, I think the first time I got vertebra into my field was the first time I took mushrooms, actually. <laughs> and in that journey, there was just this vertebra oil coming to me, and I had never even heard of what vertebra is before. And then the, I remember it so clearly the morning after that, that journey, I instantly went to the store and bought vertebra oil and put it on my feet, just as, you know, the mushrooms were telling me in, in the journey. And ever since, that, that, that smell, I'm, I'm, it just instantly grounds me. And it's just, there's just something, it's a very masculine scent as well. It's very soothing, fatherly, but also kind of puts you into this bubble of authority and like power and strength again when you feel ungrounded. So I love, love, love using Vertiva. And yeah, this, the, the company that I really, really swear by now, it's just magical how one drop of oil, and that, that's how it should be. You know, if you use Vertiva and you rub it in your hand and then you put it on, I put it on, on, on the soles of my feet, I feel like my entire aura is, literally absorbed by the oil and even though it's just on the feet i smell it the entire day up until i take a shower it's wild because i really feel the quality of those oils really infuse your aura and obviously the, the, the feet are also really receptive they are connected to all chakras so it, it's just mind-blowing if you want to know more about it because i didn't plan to have an essential oil podcast but i guess i needed to say it I put the link down below so you can, can check it out yourself. But yeah, I've been using oils a lot and really feeling into the connection between we are 90% water and how the information stored in the oil comes into that water of your body and really infuses you and assists you in remembering on a membrane level you know, with the cell membranes um, a specific code because those scents have a specific code, right? It's, it's mind-blowing, yeah. So when your cells forget how, to, how grounding feels, just use an oil and upgrade, it, upgrade them again so they remember. I also used uh, other oils, like one specifically for my water retention and that feeling of like excess heat, like when I feel overheated, that has been really soothing. It's called Deep Blue. And I swear, I, I, every time I put it on, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I, I don't know if it's deep blue, like the water, it, it soothes me, but it, it's just, I, I'm obsessed. Um, yeah, so Gemini season. And I guess I have to talk about what I'm passionate about and, and excited about and what I stand for and the quality, right? So yeah, I really, really, really love working with essential oils. Also get them now. I mean, I used to, get a lot of like supplements and things for my clients but now i really get recommendations for essential oils as well which is interesting it's kind of like a new way of my open spleen working and tapping into someone else's aura and being like okay this is the upgrade you need right now this is the oil that might be good for you and it's sometimes easier to use an oil than you know a specific supplement that you might not get so yeah i really love that i want to focus on it more because it has been so helpful for me specifically the last few weeks where i felt like not even my supplements and like all the things that used to work work so well anymore so yeah been been doing that and speaking of that you know what is the gemini season all about it's all about communicating to others what you stand for now what you've realized about yourself the upgrades that you've been through and what you're also passionate about right what is your truth now um, because we also have Venus and Jupiter moving into Gemini. And Jupiter and Gemini, by the end of this week, it, it's a whole new chapter of really, really activating and magnifying and amplifying. But that's what Jupiter does. What we have learned and what we really want to bring into the world, right? Jupiter will also meet up with Venus for this full moon in, in, in Sag that we have. And by the way, yes, we also do a full moon in Sag circle if you want to come to our monthly gathering link is down below as well lisa and i are hosting it as well it's free you can sign up you can join but the spots are limited because we want to have it as an intimate group and not too many people so sign up and save your spot 
and join us because it's always a blast to gather and to clear some density and to see where everyone is at. And this Jupiter ruled full moon is a powerhouse. It's really about releasing your truth now to the world. First of all, maybe to yourself, like, no, this is where I'm not selling myself short anymore. This is what I stand for now. This is what I want to create. This is my truth now. This is what I've realized, right? This is what I've realized about how I want to move forward in my life, what I want to create, what I want to build for the future, how I want to manage my resources, how I want to spend my money, how I might want to make money, you know, and to not settle for less anymore. This is what I've realized about the values that I have in romantic connections and relationships. And it's just really claiming that and letting people know about it, right? What is your truth now? After everything that we've been through in the eclipse season and, you know, Jupiter Uranus and all of these things, it's time to let people know who you are now, right? Because you've changed. You are a different person with different values, with a different way of thinking and of wanting to move forward in life, right? You want to have different conversations now. And there might still be people that don't, don't get it, right? That don't understand and that might be a bit confused because it feels like, who are you now, right? And I mean, that's a question that you've been asking yourself for probably the last two months. Like, who am I? What's happening? Like, what the fuck? And now you have a clearer idea of who you are now, what you want to stand for, what is authentic to you. And that's the key here. To not be superficial Gemini anymore, to let people to the core of you, to the depth of you and to who you are now and to not be afraid to really share that and let people know and own that, right? So I think it's, it's a powerful week to claim your truth and to spread it out and to be hopeful and excited to attract the right people because you are basically in your truth, right? So you attract your right fractal because people can only find you, your tribe can only find you if you let them know who you are. I mean, it, it's that simple, right? If you just talk and like have the same conversations all over again, you will attract energetically just the same kind of situations. And you might wonder like why you feel like no one gets you and no one really understands you and who you are. And it's just a little bit shallow and superficial, which is basically the shadow of Gemini, right? No, we have to. Yes, talk, but talk about things that are important to us, not about the weather or whatever, you know. Talk about what's really important to you now. And from that place, you will attract your tribe and the tribe that, you know, goes in resonance with what is important to you. So you share the same values, right? And chances are you have people in your life still that don't share the same values for the future, that you might still have to in a way say goodbye to and that's not always easy it's sometimes really hard but it's the conversations that we also have to have in this gemini season because you've outgrown a lot you've outgrown your old self you've outgrown so much so let that ripple into the field and from that place of you just owning that and sharing that and communicating that let people find you then and go in resonance with you you know maybe you've always wanted to share a specific truth online or a specific passion or whatever and you always were afraid that you wouldn't find your audience or you know whatever i always say that to my private clients like you have to go first you have to pe let people know who you are otherwise it, it's just like you know how do they find you how do they go in resonance with you if i wouldn't share the things that i'm passionate about and you know what i'm what i stand for and what i want to you know let people know or educate people in then i mean how should they find me you know i have to put myself out first and yes sometimes look like an alien or crazy person but that's just what it is you know and some people might feel like wow it's inspiring and so i have to take that risk and be like yeah some people might think i'm an alien but other people might think wow inspiring i want to learn more right so it's always that and that's also the two sides that we have in gemini you know it's like two sides yeah you can only show your social side and then deep down inside and at home you're a completely different person no you have to show the truth of you and that's the the opposite you know Sagittarius it's like no I'm, I'm just showing what I stand for and what I'm really confident in and you know if you don't like me then then that's your loss kind of situation so I'm excited to hear 
what's coming up for you and, and see what's coming up for you because, you know, all of these activities that we will have in Gemini season are, there is a potential for mental overdrive again and mental exhaustion even, I want to say, because we will have a lot of planets in Gemini. So really watch your mind and also pay attention to where your mind wants to go in default autopilot mechanism and behaviors maybe and don't engage in that really don't engage in that because that's old programming and old that the old version of you that has long expired and is not here anymore to serve anyone right not even yourself so let that version of you go if if it creeps up and maybe even use this full moon and sad to really release all parts of you and all old truths that are expired now because it's not who you are anymore it's really not and we have to see and own that we are a different person now but first we have to have clarity for ourselves who we are and i think that's also a big key and uh, maybe also something that you want to sit with during this full moon and sad who are you now what is authentic to you right and the interesting thing i really really am excited about is when we have jupiter moving into gemini which is on sunday depending on you are on where you are obviously you also have the sun moving into gene key 16 and that's all about being versatile so the gift here is to be versatile and the shadow would be indifference and it's where we stay stagnant in what we do because we don't allow ourselves to be versatile and to explore a different way of our spirit, I want to say, right? Where we box ourselves. And it's interesting because I think a lot of people have that where they are being presented with an opportunity and instantly block it because it feels like, oh no, I can't do that. I'm not skilled or this is not for me or that's not who I am and all of these things, right? So that's all limiting beliefs because you haven't even tried it, right? You haven't even tried it. Maybe you explore and find out that you are actually so good at that, right? You have to give it a go first. And the city, the highest expression of Gene Key 16 is actually mastery. So it's this journey between going from you know, this indifference of like, no, no, I'm not doing this and I'm, I'm stopping myself to tapping into, well, maybe I am versatile. Maybe I have many facets, right, Gemini, and maybe I can give it a go. And Jupiter moving into Gemini is this trusting in a way that every opportunity you are being presented now, specifically under the line of this transit, the opportunity wouldn't be in your field if you wouldn't be a vibrational match to it so why is it coming up into your field like can we just ignite some curiosity even though it's something that you haven't even considered for doing right or going to or being with you know if it comes into like relationships or people so it's like watching what is popping into your field and being like maybe that's my invitation here to explore a new side of me that might be the answer to a prayer that I had about my next step that I didn't even consider before, but higher power always knows better. So watch and pay attention to what comes into your field when Jupiter moves into Gemini. It could be relationships, it could be, you know, conversations, news, creative projects, whatever it may be, something where you are like, okay, I didn't expect that kind of invitation or news, but let's explore it because Jupiter and Gemini can bring luck. So maybe that's, you know, my lucky little ticket right there to something that I didn't even consider, but maybe I'm actually secretly a master in. So let me just try it and tap into the highest expression of Gemini here to be multifaceted, you know? We have many different, you know, facets and faces and so it might feel sometimes like a contradiction like is this authentic to me well maybe it's authentic to the new you you know doesn't mean that you are playing a role or that you are doing something that is not authentic but you're exploring a new way of being authentic like the new person the new version that you are 
might do new things, might engage with new people, might explore a new tribe, might explore a new craft, you know, whatever it may be, you will see and feel the invitation and the call. And I want to just fine tune you to be like, okay, not instantly blocking it, but just trying it out. The worst case will be that you realize, okay, no, I really don't like that. And I'm really bad at that, right? But in the best case, you understand or you realize, wow, fuck, I'm really good at that. I didn't even know, right? And I didn't even give it a try. So I would love to hear what comes up for you. If you would like to share, Magic Hathi Official, obviously, as always, you can share it with me. Please spread the word also for this episode so other people know that when something comes into their field, don't cock block the universe instantly, as I like to say. Try it out and see if it's maybe something that you are really good at, right? So that's my little fine-tuning message right there. Please share with me where you listen and what your biggest takeaways were in this episode so I can, you know, have a chat with you over on Instagram. Always means the world to me. And obviously share the episode with other people. Spread the word. We need to spread the word. We need to spread the word and the light, specifically in Gemini season. I hope to see you also on the full moon gathering. And yeah, as, as I said, if you want to learn more about the oils and the things that I use down below in the show notes. And also, what else did I want to say? Obviously, if you are a Gemini and you have your solar return, please have a solar return reading because you also have a Venus star point in Gemini. So lots of big things happening in Gemini season that I didn't want to talk about instantly now, but I will talk in future episodes. And if you are Gemini and you have your birthday around those dates, I mean, you will have a blast of a new year and you want to know what's up. So if you want to learn about that, have a solar return reading, best investment you can have for the entire upcoming year, best birthday gift you can give to someone who is a Gemini. If you want to know more or have questions, Magic Cathy Official is always info at abracadabrababy.de. And I feel like a broken record here, but you know the spiel. And yeah, I, I just hope that we, you know, have a beautiful, beautiful truth owning Sagittarius full moon ruled by Jupiter. And Jupiter will be with Venus. So it's going to be, it's going to be a beautiful one, I feel like. I'm excited for our gathering as well. So. Hope to see you there or over on Instagram. And without further ado, step into your truth and step into your magic. Mm-hmm.